Hello everyone, Jared Roper here at the 2013 iCast show and I'm in the Mustad booth and ran into Brett from Old Search. How are you doing today? Well, how are you? I'm doing good, man. Well, for you guys that don't know, and there's millions that already have seen this guy before, he is the the buffest guy that can wrangle and manage and move and maneuver the biggest great whites that you've seen in your life. Kind of explain to us how that came about and then this massive 27 alt hook here. Yeah, well, we owe uh, a great deal to Mustad for taking a, taking this on for us. And when we first started this, we were our first hooks we had, we had bent some uh, J-hooks into circles and they were just straightening them out and breaking them. Mm -hmm. um, so we really needed a stronger hook and, and they stepped up and they um, made us this awesome hook. Here's a 27 out. We, we shaved the barb completely off, you know, so it's just smooth, so it'll come out of the shark's mouth a lot easier. Try not to injure the shark. This uh, this system right here, you know, I, um, I know we were just talking about this butter knife and what how, how does that butter knife work and why? Um, you know, that all just came from. Uh, I knew after catching the first couple sharks, I was going to have a hard time getting them up onto the platform. They always wanted to dive under the platform at the last minute, so I had to get those buoys closer to the shark. Um, in the first couple attempts, I was actually down there trying to clip a carabiner on here with the buoy attached to it, and I'm right next to the shark's mouth for too long. And I knew eventually I'm going to get my hand bit off if I keep doing that. So, um, you know, there was a, a, a way of uh, shortening up your commercial gear that the Hawaiians used back in the old days that uh, I knew that they had, had done the same kind of thing with a butter knife. Um, so I decided to attach this here. And what happens is the buoy has a, a, a carabiner attached to it. And I'll, I'll clip the carabiner over the, the top of the, the cable, then it slides down the chain. And that, that when, when, I, when the timing is right, when the shark is basically facing me and the only way he could move is away from me. That's when I take the carabiner and I just shove it down past the the knife and I let go and it comes back up because of the buoyancy of the buoy and toggles right there. I do that two or three times and I, I'm only there for a half a second. Right. Right. That's where that comes in. Awesome. But that right there made it all possible. Awesome. This, is, this is the actual hook that caught Amy, I think, right? Is it? Uh, he didn't even tell yeah, me. Yeah, I think this is the one they yeah. called Amy. Now, Amy, they said it was like the girth of her. Was yeah, she was 12, like 16 by 16 or yeah. something. She was enormous. You know, she's yeah. probably close to 4,500 pounds. And, and, and you wrangled her in. Yeah, yeah, well, <laughs> I have a, a few other people helping me there. It's not all me. It's a team uh, effort. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. All right, guys, with Brett from O Search, good talking.